be honest. Would you have even told me that you cheated on me if Lisa wasn't acting so crazy? Or would you have just let me go on thinking that my marriage was perfect? I didn't want to hurt you. You lied to me. You don't think that that hurts? We weren't in the best place before you went to Africa. I didn't want you to go, and I tried to be supportive, but you just kept pushing me away. You told me that I didn't understand. I mean, you know what it's like to, to live in the shadow of stone? Oh. Robin, I, I always feel like I never measure up to him. How can you even say that? It's how I feel. It's the truth. So you decided that it made sense for you to sleep with Lisa? Lisa and I just saved a patient. We went to have drinks to celebrate, and we started talking about what it used to be like with no responsibilities, just living in the moment. And I got caught up, Great. and I made a selfish mistake. So you lied to me. You lied to me, and then you came home, and you told me how much you missed me. I did miss you. <laughs> But I do feel that the last couple months, we've kind of drifted apart. Well, sleeping with someone else isn't a way to fix that. I know. But it didn't mean anything. Oh, my God. That's supposed to make me feel better. I wanted to tell you, Robin. But I was scared. I knew we'd have this conversation, we'd be sitting in this exact situation. And I didn't want to lose you. There's a part of me that wants to forgive you. But then I think about Emma, I think about our daughter and how she was gone for an hour and how Lisa is unstable. I just wanted to find Emma, that's all I wanted. You realize it could have been too late, right? Something could have happened to our daughter. Lisa took Emma to get my attention. I don't really think she would have hurt her. Please, I will not sit here and listen to you defend her. I'm not defending her. I can't do this right now. Can you just leave, please? Please. I could go to Claire and tell her the shooting went down exactly as you say it did, but that won't do much good. She's got a tape of you saying that you wanted to set Johnny up and kill him and make it look like self-defense. I mean, she's got you on premeditation right there. Even a good lawyer that you have. Yeah, and a great lawyer. Okay, but you're still, you're still looking at life. You think I'd say that, you know, all that to a federal prosecutor and go off and shoot Johnny? If you listen to the, the tape clearly... It has me saying that I'll, I'm not going to kill Johnny unless he comes after me first, which is exactly what happened. Okay, I listened to the tape. I'm telling you, it's not going to help you. Oh. Add to that the fact that they didn't find the gun on this guy. No one's going to believe that you shot him in self-defense. So that's it? I'm going to prison then, right? Is that, no, that, no that pretty... we have to find someone who will back your version of what happened. Take me through what happened again. I have. Dante, it's not going to change, you know? I'm going to tell you a thousand times I didn't shoot him. Okay, I know. So I, what okay, I, I know you ran into Johnny and he had the gun on you. I want to know what happened before the shooting. You're walking down Baker Street. You're passing by storefronts, apartment buildings. You, maybe you saw someone in a window or someone walked by you on the sidewalk. I was not paying much attention to that. Okay, but you'd be surprised at what you can remember if you just think about it for a <sighs> Hey, all we need is one person who saw Johnny holding a gun and we got a case for Diane for you for self-defense. Claire and Ronnie are gonna, not going to like that you're doing this and you're helping me out here. If I was worried about what people thought about me, I would have run back to Bensonhurst a long time ago. 
You tell me you're innocent, I want to uncover the truth. 